Welcome to Gravity This Season. We're going to talk about water skiing and wakeboarding. So we're going to try to think this through as we go through it. Um, we've got a little difference with each sport. The water skiing, you're going to have both feet forward, load pulling from front. You're up on, you're up planing on your skis. Wakeboarding, you've got one foot for the other. So a little bit of a tweak to the pelvis or the hips. And then of course you've got your slalom, which is going to be one foot in front of the other. So we're going to kind of group those, group those together because one of the things that we look with all those sports is that the primary things that get fatigued are going to be your legs, your back, and even your forearms. So we'll discuss that in part two. Part one, we're going to work on leg stamina. So there's going to be strength, there's going to be strength plus endurance. So we're really working on the stamina because as you stand in that position and you're holded, you're loaded, and you've got a little bit of a chop in the water, you've got all those perturbations that are going to create all different types of contractions through the legs. So really it's about stamina and you can do anything you want with the feet. We're going to start off with some squats and then we'll move into some lunges. So here, one of the things I like to show off in our, in our courses is to be able to use your hand to add load because it's going to be a little more dynamic, meaning that there's not a consistent load in their hands. I can press hard, I can press soft. It's going to be more like the environment that they're in. So we've got her in a regular, just neutral foot position. We can change those. We can bring them closer together, which is going to be a little bit of a tweak to the, to the hips. And I'm just kind of giving a pulsing type of action just to kind of mimic that chop in the water, depending on if you're water skiing in the morning on the lake or the afternoon, you're going to have quite a big difference. So now we're just working on maybe staying in about a 30 degree flexed position and she's just going to stay there, work on stamina. If I need help, I might just grab my friend here, <laughs> place it in her hands. It's going to add just a little bit of load. You've also got your weight bar that you can stick through and stack all kinds of weights on, up to 200 pounds, I believe, 250. So we're working on stamina, a little bit of variation with the, with, the, with the load instead of just standard load, just kind of popping, popping, changing things. Now we might go into more of a slalom look. So she's going to stack her feet over each other. So that means that one, the back leg's going to have a little more dorsiflexion in the ankle. We're going to get a little calf stretch back there. And if you wanted to get real fancy as you're doing these, we're trying to figure this out because the load, if she, we're kind of look at what's going on here in space. If she were to be pulling, but pulled by a rope, the rope's going to be pulling the opposite. So it's going to be up here. And we tried all different types of variations here. And we'll just show you just because we're goofy like that. As I'm up here pulling to get a little bit of a load, and if you can come up with a pulley system or something over a, a beam, you can get a TRX or something, you can get more of a load here. But then you have to be careful because you're taking away the load of the leg. So just to keep it efficient, I might just pull back down, move, move around in different angles, just to get different proprioceptors stimulated and to look as funny as possible, really. That's really what it's all about. And then for wakeboarding, maybe we throw one foot in the other, more like a snowboarding. And if you want a lot of detail on any of the snowboarding or any of the kind of board sports, go into the snowboarding video. There's a lot more detail there. Okay, basic goofy fun there. Now we're going to go into lunge. So that's going to add a little bit more load. And what we're trying to figure out here Thanks, Nicole. Yeah. Is how do we create an environment where the floor is more like water, which means that the ski, the, uh, ski is going to be planing on the water and it's going to be different. If the ski's in the water and you're digging in, you're going to have more friction. If it's over the top, you're going to be nice and flat, that planing where you get more speed. So what we'll work on is just a basic forward lunge first. And again, I might just do little perturbations to the glide board. And then what we talked about is when you look at her back heel being down, that's a nice way to start. If we want to load the front leg, because that's what's going to happen when you're in these, in these water skiing or wakeboarding sports, is you're going to have a loaded leg, probably both, but here we're just going to go into one. And we'll try to get her up a little higher, because if you're that flexed and you're really low in the water, you're going to be at biomechanical disadvantage and wear out. So now we'll have her extend the right knee out. There you go. And stay in that position. Now, the, what she did, she raised her heel. That's going to bring the load a little bit more towards the front leg. And it makes this a little bit more like a ski. So there's one variation. That, that would be the progression. And then you start to bring in the, the toys. And we'll give her these handles to mimic the, the rope. And you can also use weights or whichever. But now what I'm doing is just going to get her in that same position and just start to tweak things because the water is very dynamic and as easy as this looks, overall, over time, that right leg's going to become fatigued. 
So I'm going to give her a little up, a little down. I want to stand her up, back and forth. There we go. <laughs> yeah. She pulled me over as well. So back and forth with the bands, or you could just have her take this weight, place it in both hands, and just bring it out there and hold it. That's a big, heavy honker weight. So just moving back and forth, the transverse plane, a little sagittal plane tweak, really just about giving a dynamic load to create more stamina in the front leg. So that's the first, first part of our wakeboarding and water skiing sports. Try to say that three times. We'll see you next time.